So, we returned in Oxford again, after talking about 4047 and WT29. Also, a little fun fact about Norfolk Southern, well, Norfolk Southern is really known, but not really known, but it's known for, well, this. All that aside for the Adel VR stuff, I'm going to talk about one thing that Norfolk Southern is really most known for. What is that you may ask? Well, the heritage units. As we know, Norfolk Southern has 20 heritage units that represent each foreign flag, such as Norfolk and Washington, the Southern, Pennsylvania, Savannah and Atlanta, etc. However, all out of the 20 units, there is one SC-70 Ace that is, well, forgotten. And this is the engine story. 1030 is one of 175 SC-70 Aces to be owned by Norfolk Southern, being built in October 2011. 1030 will have regular service life on NS, only features along NS's foot network, until 2012. In 2012, Norfolk Southern was serving its 30th anniversary while having 20 units be painted into the predecessor member's paint scheme. Oh, I went over all that. Sorry about that. Just got a little, um, freaked out there. Anyways, back on to 1030 story. In July of 2012, Norfolk Southern has an idea to display all the 20 units at Spencer, North Carolina. And they chose 1030 to lead the 20 units to Spencer. Why? Well, because it's Norfolk Southern 30th anniversary, and 1030 is, well, 1030. But when the engine, along with the heritage units, arrived at Spencer, North Carolina, Norfolk Southern did something to 1030 that everyone didn't really know. Norfolk Southern changed the engine's two number boards on top into the years of 1982 and 2012, symbolizing its 30 year anniversary. However, from that change, no one really focused on 1030 and only on the heritage units like A103, 1099, 1072, etc. After the units displayed at Spencer, North Carolina, they were later returned to service, with 1030 having its road numbers number board back. And from the point on, 1030 was forgotten in the heritage unit book. However, the can still see 1030 to this day. That's my last spot on October 30th, 2023, as what I'm making of this video. Wait, what the f? And the engine was last spot on October 30th, 2023, as what I'm making this video. Symbolizing the engine is still in service today and not part of the power purge. Honestly, it's really sad that 1030 didn't get some recognition by real fanners. Just because of two number boards on top was changed, they didn't get some attention to the engine and only on the heritage unit. But, if the year was still 2012, I would recommend no folks certain what to do to make 1030 as a heritage unit. Do the same thing as being itself heritage unit during its 25th anniversary. Add some predecessor railroad's logo onto the side to make 1030 a actual heritage unit. But who knows what the result will be? So that's the story of 1030, aka the Forgotten Heritage Unit. Next time when you're well fat and you see the 1030, make sure to cheer for the engine as it was once a unique engine, which I called 1030 the Forgotten. Mm -hmm.